All right. So this is an MSDS. They will soon be called simply SDSs. And where they just, these, these are for every chemical there is. All right. There's a, a SDS that explains the potential hazards of that chemical. All right. I even took this first one. There are two chemical chemicals in this lab. I took this first one and made some notes on here for you to help you figure out how to find the hazards you you need in your lab notebook. All right. So these notes in these big boxes you see here, they're supposed to help you figure out what you're supposed to do. All right? They tell you what to do. How easy is that? Very easy. Very easy. Okay? So, it's the things that you're going to need to do, it says here, is you want to write out your potential lab hazards. They're, this uh, this um, emergency overview pretty much needs to be written down word for word. If you've got an emergency overview written into an SDS or an MSDS, that pretty much needs to be in your lab notebook. Got it? Okay. Now, over here under something called potential health effects, those can, most of those can happen to you in a lab. If you're working with a chemical that's a dry powder of some kind, you could possibly breathe it in. So you want to summarize what those hazards are here. Okay. You could ingest it. It's possible. You get it on your fingers. You lick your fingers. Okay. You could. Well, you could. Hopefully, you don't. It would taste awful if you did. But you don't do it. But here's this is what happens if you do. Summarize those, okay? Skin contact. Well, you're going. You, it's easy to get stuff on your skin, isn't it? All right. Eye contact. Chronic exposure. Is that something that's going to happen in a lab? What does chronic mean? Not just every time, but over. It has to be over and over and every time. Oh, huh? Over time. Oh, I'm sorry. Over time. You're absolutely right. Over time is perfect. Over time. If you are continually exposed to it, these are possible dangers. Is that going to happen to you in one lab? Mm -hmm. I saw somebody shaking their head up and down. What? Really? No. It's not going to happen over. That's the that's thing that happens over and over when, you, when you're exposed to it over and over again. Do you need to have it in your lab notebook if it's chronic here? No, because it's not going to happen in the lab. Not unless you're handling lead compounds all the time. If you know you're handling lead compounds all the time, you should have chronic exposure listed as a hazard. Got that? Yes. How many of you are, raise your hand if you're working with lead compounds? I don't see any hands going up. Okay, good. Because you shouldn't be. No, you're not. Don't play me like that. All right. All right. Pre-existing conditions. Does anybody have a kidney condition? Don't raise your hand because I don't want to. I don't want everybody to know. Okay. But if you have a kidney condition or nerve or circulatory disorder, yeah, you need to. You know, you need to write down these these uh, pre-existing conditions being aggravated, okay? But if that doesn't apply to you, and I should have that information, you should have already given me that information. I should know if you have a pre-existing kidney condition, okay? Because that's, that's important for your safety. Got that? Clear? All right. Firefighting measures. It tells you what to do with firefighting measures. If it's not going to happen in the lab, don't write it down, okay? But if things can happen in the lab, explosion dangers, fire dangers, Listen, you've got to say something about fire, okay? If it's not, if it can't burn, if it's not combustible, at least you got to say that. Clear? All right, now I did that for the first chemical. This is a multi-page multi uh, MSDS for this uh, chemical, lead nitrate, here in this case. What? MSDS. Material Safety Data Sheet. And they're soon going to be called just simply Safety Data Sheets. Okay. Now, there's a second chemical here. Don't come in here on the day of the lab and say, I didn't know there was a second chemical in there. I'm telling you now. Got that? So, I didn't give you all that, I didn't point to things and have boxes in here telling you where to look. I expect you to use the first one to figure it out. Got that? Yeah. Clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, as a bright sunny day, right? All right, good. Yes? What? Okay, well, you make up the lab. 